With the prices of GPUs going up and the shortages that is happening in the market right now, it's a really bad time to build a PC or to even own one. But that's probably not the case with Huawei, who has just ventured into the PC world by making their very first desktop available in the Malaysia market. Yes, folks, we got the Huawei Mate Station S here, which is actually a pretty decent setup in my opinion because you get a monitor and the CPU itself for 3,000 ringgit, which I think is pretty worth it because even if I were to build my own PC, it actually comes up to around the same price or probably slightly more expensive depending on the components that you choose. And you know what? They even give this little gift box over here when I pre-order the device and I'm pretty excited to see what Huawei has to offer on its first desktop because it is a really good deal that they are offering right here. And speaking of good deals, why not visit our store at Good Deals by KLGG? You could actually get 20 ringgit off your first order when you sign up as a new customer. So visit our store in the link in the description down below. So first, let's start off by unboxing the box on the right which is on my left, by the way. So this is the CPU unit of the Huawei Mate Station S. So we are gonna just cut open the seal. It's been a while since I did some unboxing. So yeah, it takes a little bit of practice here. All right, let's take out the first box here. Let's take a look. All right, so we have a wired mouse by Huawei and we have the power cord and we finally get the unit here. Wow, it's actually a pretty compact case we have right here. All right, so here you go. Actually, you know what? It's actually smaller than what I expected. I thought it would be slightly thicker and taller. This is actually pretty compact. And as you can see, there's this Star Trail design that Huawei has made on the Mate Station as to differentiate from its business desktop lineups. Yep, they do actually sell business desktops back in China, but not here. This is their very first unit. So I'm just gonna cut open the seal as well. All right, and we're gonna open up this box. It's pretty huge because it's a 23.8 inch monitor. All right, let's take out the first player. All right, we got an HDMI cable and we have the power adapter here, which actually looks like a smartphone brick, apart from the fact that it doesn't have a USB port. Yep, that's a three pin prong right over there and a barrel plug. And we have more stuff. And yes, the keyboard is included with the monitor. Wait, is it? No, that's actually a monitor, but yeah, I'm getting a monitor stand. Okay, so <laughs> this is the monitor. It's pretty big. We have the monitor stand. Yep, the arm, not the stand, the arm. And finally, there's no keyboard. Where is the keyboard? I really don't see where the keyboard really is. Where is the keyboard? Oh, wow, I found it. All right, that's, I'm a pretty bad unboxer, but there you go. The keyboard is actually included with the unit. It's just in this box that I did not expect to see this. All right, so yeah, here is the keyboard of the Huawei Mate Station S. The reason why I am most intrigued with this because the keyboard is actually one of the few desktop PCs to come with a built-in fingerprint reader. And you can also kind of like tap your Huawei smartphone at the share area here to share your smartphone screen or transfer a file from your Huawei smartphone. Okay, this is it. It actually looks pretty nice though. And it looks very much like the Microsoft designer keyboard. The keys, pretty nice to tap on. There are uh, scissor cut switches, um, pretty good. Way better than the MacBook Pro's uh, keyboard. I'm gonna enjoy typing this a lot. So before we get this all set up, let's talk a little bit about this mini desktop here. So as I mentioned earlier on the front, you get this really nice serious looking star trail design that looks good on any desk. This is a pretty compact chassis. And on the front here, you get a full size USB 3.1 port and the USB-C port, when I check on Huawei's site, it says that this is a USB 2.0 C port, which, you know, I can't bring it. Why do they actually provide a USB 2.0 C port instead of putting that on the full size one? But anyway, there is a power button right over here as well, as well as an auto jack for headphones, which is great. So turning the unit to the back reveals a standard set of ports you would find on your desktop PCs as well. So you get the usual three color coded audio jacks and you get an HDMI port, a VGA port, um, 
two USB 3s, I guess it says here. It says USB 3.2 and the bottom row here is the USB 2.0 port. You get an Ethernet port and finally, who else uses a serial port these days? Nobody uses that. I mean, wow, this is a really legacy port I haven't seen for years on PCs already, right? And finally, here's the power port which you insert your power cord all right so one thing i like about this chassis here is that it is toolless if you want to access the internals so let's take out the screw just like this this is a little tough let me just get my screwdriver okay got my screwdriver and i'm just going to insert it in and unscrew this thing here so it's not exactly toolless if you're taking apart for the first time and finally there is a warranty sticker here that you will need to cut apart in order to access to the internals even though it didn't say that it will void the warranty if you rip the sticker but it says that you need to read the warranty policy carefully before removing so best to do that before you do anything inside otherwise it could possibly void the warranty if you do something to the internals. All right, let's just rip open. Ooh, easy it goes. And we're just going to pull this tab here and open. Simple as that. It's open already. And let's take a look inside the internals of the Mate Station S. So what we are seeing here is an ITX form factor motherboard and with very limited expansion options. This is kind of expected for desktop OEM motherboards like this, but fortunately we still get some expansion options right over here. So you get a SATA connector here if you want to expand storage with a SATA SSD or hard drive, but unfortunately there's nowhere around the chassis that you can mount a drive which I have no idea why they offer that, but you know, it's good just in case if you want to switch to a bigger casing. So you get a PCI SSD slot over here, which is actually great and the recommended way of expanding storage on this device here. So the Huawei Mate Station S uses a Western Digital SS730 NVMe SSD, 256 gigabytes of storage, which is good enough for most people out there. And you get a PCIe X16 slot here if you intend to upgrade graphics, but unfortunately, I don't think it fits any of the powerful GPUs out there because first of all, the power supply of this PC here is only rated at 300 watts. So unless you want slightly better graphics than the integrated CPU graphics, otherwise, you really don't get to expand it with a GPU here because also this casing is not really tall as well. So chances are if you really manage to slot in a GPU, you will have to do without this casing here. All right. And finally, we see two sodium slots here. One is already used up. Um, this is an eight gigabyte Hynix uh, DDR4 3200 megahertz RAM which is a good speed for modern PCs. And finally, let's talk about this thing here. This is the a custom CPU fan made for the Mate Station S's AMD Ryzen 5 4600G CPU. So this unit here already comes with a integrated graphics. It's a Radeon graphics, which is actually good enough for basic graphic stuff or like such as graphic design and video editing. And it, it can actually do a little bit of lightweight gaming based on my knowledge, which we are going to find out if it actually works later. So that's pretty much about the Mate Station S's internals. Let's put it back all in and we are going to set up the monitor next. So unlike some Chinese monitors that I've come across, Huawei's monitor is really, really easy to set up. So all you need to do is to take out this arm here, firstly, mount the arm on the back of the monitor so that it clips on it. It's a clip system, which is actually very user-friendly. So by the way, this monitor has a HDMI and VGA input, which is actually pretty standard. I'm not gonna expect much from a 24-inch Full HD monitor. It doesn't have any audio output as well. So yeah, no audio from this monitor as well. And all you need to do next is to mount onto this base here. So you just basically slot it in, just put it down, slot it in. And finally at the bottom here, you do have to do something which is to screw the base. There is a built-in screw at the bottom really and you just need to just like twist it and secure it. And there you have it. The monitor is 
ready to go. So you do get this swivel angle, which is actually pretty good if you want to view it in different angles. And now that we are all set, let's fire up the Huawei Mate Station S. Okay, so I have basically set up the Mate Station S. The setup is pretty straightforward, no complicated instructions, just follow through the typical Windows setup with Cortana, make sure you mute it, and you're all set. This is how the desktop is. So what I'm really happy about the Mate Station S is that it doesn't come preloaded with some bloatware that some OEMs would usually do on their desktop. So what you only get out of the Mate Station as a software suite is just the PC manager and the user guide. So the PC manager is Huawei's very own software that is used for updating drivers, BIOS, and even connect your Huawei smartphone over to your Mate Station S, which is actually a pretty great tool if you own a Huawei device. All right, so um, there's nothing much to talk about over here because it really doesn't come with any additional features that I can actually talk about. But one thing that I really like about the Mate Station S is really the keyboard. Like I mentioned earlier, the keyboard has a fingerprint reader that signs into Windows. But what it also does is it also acts as a power button for your Mate Station S. So whenever if you want to turn on a PC, you don't need to press on the power button on the CPU but instead just tap on this fingerprint button over here and it turns on the Mate Station S. So can the Mate Station S be a capable compact budget gaming and creative machine? To find out, I upgraded the system RAM to 16GB by adding a second 8GB stick to ensure a more reliable and consistent testing experience. This is recommended even if you are thinking to use it for productivity purposes and doesn't cost a lot to do so. With 512MB of dedicated memory and 8GB of shared memory, you are going to need to compromise graphics quality and run games at 720p in order to hit playable frame rates. Well, it's not exactly 60 frames per second, but at least most games we benchmark hit more than 40 frames per second on average. You probably wouldn't invest in a system like this to play games like Cyberpunk 2077 or PUBG. And granted, the Mate Station S isn't made to be a gaming system, but benchmarking these games gives us an idea how far the Ryzen 4600G's integrated graphics can go. In creative applications, the Mate Station S was able to scrub through a simple 4K video project on Premiere Pro with Illumetric color effects applied. Of course, don't expect to do complex video projects on it as it can start while doing so. You also need to be a little patient with export times due to lesser stream processors on the integrated GPU. Otherwise, you shouldn't have problems doing vectors and illustration work on the system if you have sufficient amount of RAM installed. What I'm very impressed is how cool and silent the Mate Station S is even when it is on full load. The blower type cooler never makes a noise like how AMD stock coolers do and is able to maintain a temperature of 45 degrees Celsius on idle and hits a maximum 85 degrees Celsius on full load. The Huawei Mate Station S retails at 2499 ringgit, whereas if you were to include the monitor into the package, that will cost you an extra 500 or 600 ringgit depending on whether you got it at the pre-order stage. So is this a good deal or is this worth buying as a personal PC instead of going to the PC shops and customizing your own PC? Well, it really depends on what you're looking at. If you want a no frills desktop, as in you don't need all those like expansion features, you just want a basic, good performing PC, the Huawei Mate Station S definitely delivers that. And on top of that, if you use a Huawei phone, yeah, enjoy that brilliant ecosystem that you can use it to transfer files or to share your phone screen across your desktop because only this can deliver that. But otherwise, if you ask me as a PC enthusiast, well, I would definitely think twice if I want to get this as my personal PC because personally, I like to do a lot of mods, like I want to do some expansion and all this. And as you can see just now, um, the internals are actually really limited. So this kind of desktop PCs are really not meant for the DIY enthusiasts. If you're thinking to expand your PC with GPUs or more storage devices, this is just a really good, basic, good performing PC. And the good thing is that it comes with an AMD Ryzen 5 4600G processor with integrated graphics so that you do not need to spend a bomb on graphics cards. Right now, 
if you want to do some lightweight gaming. So that's pretty much about my thoughts about the Huawei Mate Station S. Do leave me any comments down below if you have any questions about this PC and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more upcoming tech videos. For now, thanks for watching and I will see you in our next video.